described as Australia's number one indie band, although it's not a term that they're that happy with. However, they've recently signed to Beggar's Banquet here in the UK and they're planning to take Britain by storm. I think we're sort of a band that people tend to really, really like or dislike. It's, it's, um, there's not a whole lot of grey area in between, you know. Um, it's just, I don't know, it's just sort of where we are. Um, and that's fine. I mean, you know, it's always, I think it's best to get... It's better to get some sort of reaction from people rather than sort of a bland sort of, you know, niceness about the whole thing. Mm. I don't know. I, th I think if I wasn't in the band, I'd, I'd still be... I think I'd like us. I think I'd probably buy most of their records. Maybe not all of them, but I think I'd buy most of them. I think I'd be interested in the band. I think I'd like them. Do you see each other outside of the band, or do you very much view it as a job when you go in to do oh, it? Oh, no, no. We're always... We're always friends, you know, before the band formed. Um, no, we tend to socialise with each other all the time as well. Um, no, it's not, it's, not like, it's not like a job at all. God, I mean, you know, it's... No, we're, we're very friendly and it's, it's, we don't approach it from, from that sort of angle at all. It's, um, it's still... We're all still chummy and, and, and hasn't, hasn't deteriorated at that level yet, no. <laughs> Thank God. I guess being careerist implies that you sort of um, um, base your um, approach to music around making as much money as you can out of it, you know, uh, for a long period. And we've never sort of really approached <laughs> um, music like that. I mean, it's almost as though we, we sort of make a living accidentally from, from playing the music that we like. Um, and it's never been the sort of, you know, reason that we ever started a band. And I mean, to this day, it still isn't, but... Um, Fortunately, it's got to the stage where we can still do what we want and um, financially we can get along now and, and, and continue to make records and, and it's, 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 I'm very grateful it keeps to working out the way it is. I, I find it really dull actually watching interviews of, with you know, people in rock bands. I mean, <laughs> I mean the, the primary reason that, that, that they're there you know, in a band is because you know, they can play the guitar or you know, play the bass or, you know, hit a snare drum in time. I mean, they're sort of not drafted into, into music because they're articulate sort of uh, speakers on, on, you know, on art and, and life. And so I think the typical rock interview tends to be extremely dull, you know. So, I mean, I have rather listen to the record, actually, or, you know, it's, um, I don't find people who play in bands are at their, at their peak when they're giving their views on, on the world. But, um, so I, I you know, no, I don't know any questions that I'd ask myself. I'd rather listen. Are you totally confident about Die Pretty now, or have you still got doubts? Uh, I think you've always got just a tiny little bit of doubt. I mean, you know, it makes you a little bit nervous sometimes. It, it helps. I, I, think it's, I think it's a bit strange to be, you know, supremely confident all the time. Um, I'm fairly confident about it, yes, yeah, yeah. I, um, you know, I think the band's great. I mean, you're always just a little bit nervous, but that's good. That helps. Would you like Died Pretty to be immortal? Um, gosh, I don't know. It's a big question. Um, I, don't, I don't think so. I don't think so. I mean, uh, it'd sound particularly vain to say yes, I think, to that. <laughs> I'll, um, we'll just do it. We'll just do what we do and, you know, time can judge for itself, I guess. Well, a lot of bands would say they wanted their band, their group to be mortal. Yeah, well, um, um, I just think it's a, a little large aspiration for, uh, for anyone. Well, realistically then, how do you see... Well, I just, you know, I just hope our records still sound as good to me as they do now, you know, in, in, in years to come, and, and, and I hope that it's, um, People just look on it as, you know, that was something great and still sounds great, um, quite succinctly. <laughs>